Time to try 29 different Pop-Tarts. Why? Because I'm fucking dumb. So first off, I'm gonna be eating these out of the bag, not toasted, because I did a Twitter poll and it turns out that it's like half and half between out of the bag and toasted, and actually more people prefer it out of the bag. That's easier for me. So if you're gonna comment on this video with, um, it's only valid if, if they're toasted, uh, I don't care at all, and uh, please stop existing. Also, for you brainiacs out there who are like, he's gonna eat 29 Pop-Tarts in the sitting? I am not. I'll be trying a few bites of each, and then of course you'll get the galaxy brain uh, jokesters who <laughs> actually, I bet he did eat them all. <laughs> I would die. Let's just get down to it, shall we? First off, Frosted strawberry. Um, have, I don't even like Pop-Tarts that much, so I don't, I'm not even really looking forward to this. I am hungry though, because I haven't, I haven't eaten lunch. Let's just fucking do it. Oh god, these crumble every, oh fuck. So I've determined the best way to do this is to break it in half. That way I can get a bite of that nice uh, juicy core, as one of my friends calls it, uh, but also have a taste of the outside edge as well. That tastes exactly like I remember it. Pretty satisfying. They're very sweet, but I like that strawberry sort of jam flavor. The frosting is a nice touch. I do have some unfrosted ones. Not looking forward to those at all. Pretty not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, I can't eat too much or else I'm gonna die. I feel like this is the baseline good Pop-Tart to judge other Pop-Tarts off of. Let's So let's go on to the next one with the simply frosted Harvest Strawberry, which has no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, and colors from natural sources. All right. You'll notice they don't have the green little sprinkles because green doesn't appear in nature, I guess. Okay. This is good. It's not as cloyingly sweet as a regular Pop-Tart. I would go as far to say as I prefer this. It has a good natural sweetness that doesn't immediately transport me to the 90s uh, with 50 cavities in my mouth. Otherwise, yeah, I, I I totally get it. It's it's just like a nice, more subtle, but still sweet strawberry flavor. It's got kind of a toasty flavor too, which I like. Next up is Frosted Chocolate Fudge, the opposite of the natural ones. This one's brown and got white sprinkles on it. Okay. Not bad, very fudgy. A little one-dimensional, I feel. Like, I like the brightness of the strawberry ones, and that might just be a personal preference. This is like, fine, but I can already tell I would get sick of it if I tried to eat like two of them, which I know is like what you people usually do with Pop-Tarts, is usually eat two of them. It's just chocolate, that's it. It's very baseline, which fine. I would almost prefer if the frosting was like vanilla to give more contrast. So far though, I'm not missing the fact that these aren't toasted. Like, I think I might prefer them toasted. Well, I don't know. Actually, I, hadn't have, I haven't had them toasted in a long time. But as I eat these, I'm not like, oh man, these suck. The texture's terrible, like a Hot Pocket. I wish they were toasted. They're actually pretty good, just straight out of the bag. Next up, we have frosted brown sugar cinnamon. Looks like a nude Pop-Tart. I feel like as a kid I wouldn't have liked these, but these match my taste buds more now. Like, it's more subtle than the chocolate, but lighter. I think lighter and not nearly as sickly sweet is gonna be my preference with these. Um, this just has a nice, pleasant cinnamon flavor. Not bad. Still not as good as like a strawberry one, because it is still kind of one note, but pretty good. You can definitely, um, the, the filling in this has like a toothsome nature that I kind of like. Which brings us to a related one. It's simply frosted orchard apple cinnamon. Again, no high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors or colors. Someone jizzed all over this Pop-Tart. Um, all right. I would like to see more of these simply ones. This is good. It, the, the apple comes out first and foremost, as opposed to the cinnamon. So it's like a bright, sweet, tart apple flavor with a light cinnamon aftertaste. Like a nice apple pie. 
It's pretty fucking good. Like, I was definitely ready to shit on these because they're like simply an older, like natural flavor. But this is like maybe my favorite so far. Damn, that's really good. So many more Pop-Tarts after this though. Like, I want to eat more of this, but I know if I do, I'll die. All right, let's get some of these out of the way. Here's um, Pop-Tarts Crisps. Never heard of these. They're frosted strawberry licious. Um, so let's give that a shot. Ah, they come in like a snack pack kind of thing. And they're skinny little bitches. Ooh. Yo, these are legit. Uh, I love how crispy and crunchy they are. They're just like cookie bars. There's a big difference though, going from the Simply Apple Cinnamon to the IN YOUR FACE STRAWBERRY LICIOUS! It's very sweet, but... Wow, I wish more of them were either Simply or these crisp ones. These crisp ones are delicious, actually. Now, delicious might be a strong word, but I really like them. Damn, that's good. Shit, it's, not, it's like almost a different category. I don't know if these even count, but I really like these. All right, now... Wow, I already feel like I've eaten too much sugar and we're just starting. Um, Pop-Tarts Bites. Um, these are frosted strawberry bites. I imagine these are just gonna taste like Pop-Tarts, but small. They're cute though, that little, little plump bitches. Not bad, it's like a, it's like a Fig Newton, but sweeter and with crispy frosting on top. Not bad actually. It's a nice textural difference, I feel, from a regular Pop-Tart. Then we have the Pop-Tarts Bites Brown Sugar Cinnamon. Here's another one of the plumpers. This one is borderline too sweet, I think. I think with such concentrated filling flavor, it's a little too sweet for me. But, not bad. But, um, that or my tongue is disintegrating. And finally, we have uh, Pop-Tarts Bites uh, Frosted Chocolatey Fudge, which I didn't like that much before. So I imagine this will be even better. Here's a little chocolate fucker. Yeah, I think the crispy frosting helps with these, but otherwise, just chocolate stuff isn't just isn't really my favorite. Like it, it does feel kind of one note to me. Just kind of like, yep, it tastes like chocolate. Not a really complex flavor profile you're gonna get in a kid's toaster bite. So, it's all right. All right, let's keep it going. I can already feel my teeth hurting with this next batch. It's a uh, frosted chocolate cupcake. They even have the hostess or hostess swirl on there. These are nice dark brown with a messy swirl down, down the middle. I appreciate the effort. I feel like I would have liked these more than the regular chocolate ones, but the filling has like a pasty, pasty gluey sensation to it. Tastes like slightly sweet glue. I do not care for that. I remember these from my childhood, frosted chocolate chip. I, boy, these dessert ones really don't sound that appealing to me right now. It looks appealing though. Ooh, it kind of breaks apart like a chocolate chip cookie too. Definitely a step up from the other one. These do kind of taste like chocolate chip cookies a bit. And I, I appreciate the, uh, the attention to detail. Still prefer fruit ones, but out of the chocolate ones so far, I think I like this the best. But then on the other end, we got frosted chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh boy. This one's got several jizz swirls going down it. And the filling appears to be non-existent. Oh, I don't like that. So they're trying to go for the cookie dough side of things. And inside is like this weird pasty gummy not very flavorful mush. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be like cookie dough, but it kind of just tastes like weird glue. I don't like it at all. Weird aftertaste, almost chemically. Fuck this. I'm not finishing this. This is the worst one so far. Here's a uh, mermazing blue raspberry. Oh boy. It's got a pretty design. Probably will taste like shit though. Wow, that should not be a color anyone should eat. Oh my god. Yeah, it tastes like blue raspberry candy inside a pastry, which doesn't taste good. I do not want this level of sour candiness in something that is a pastry. Uh, I think it's a terrible match. Um, and yet, do I like these better than the chocolate chip cookie dough? Maybe slightly, but these are both terrible. Only a child can eat this, I think. I think if you try to eat this as an adult, you literally uh, 
die and go to jail. Well, I've hated two of them so far. Oh boy, let's keep going. I really don't want to eat more. All right, here's Frosted Crisp Apple, an exclusive flavor to Walmart, I guess. Hopefully this will be as good as the other apple ones I like. Probably won't be though. Okay, just a Jizz Pop-Tart. Yeah, this is just like a worse version of the Simply one, cause because it's not naturally flavored, there's more of that sour candiness to it that I don't like in really super sweet, sour sweet fruit candy flavor. But it's not bad. So I don't know why they didn't put like cinnamon in this to like help back it up. It is just kind of like sour apple. No, no. My morale is going down. Here's a classic flavor. Frosted cherry. I like how this looks. It's not bad, but I'm not personally that big of a cherry fan. As far as a artificial cherry flavored Pop-Tart goes, inoffensive. It's perfectly inoffensive to me. Um, maybe a little too sweet, but I don't know what sweet is anymore because all I can taste is sweet and pain. Here's a limited edition of Fruit Loops flavor. I don't really like Fruit Loops, so really looking forward to this one. Ah, it has the old cryptid himself, old Toucan Sam. Uh, time to tear his head in half. Ooh, it looks very pink. Whoa, that is crazy how much exactly that tastes like Fruit Loops. That's terrifying. Oh my god. You know how Fruit Loops have the sort of weird, almost marshmallowy, very concentrated artificial sweetness? This tastes exactly, it is, I have not had Fruit Loops in so many years, and yet this gave me a fucking Anton Ego Ratatouille ass moment back to what those taste like. I actually don't even mind it. Like, I kind of like it. I kind of admire how terrifyingly close these are to the original thing. I am genuinely impressed with humanity. All right, normally I would make fun of these. But I'm kind of hoping these are good. Unfrosted strawberry. Ah, oh, this is depressing. Looks like a bleeding dead Pop-Tart. Okay. I feel like if your parents get these for you, they don't love you as much. I will say, frosting, as silly as it sounds, really does help Pop-Tarts. This is just strawberry mush. Grainy strawberry mush. Fuck this. This isn't a Pop-Tart, this is a, a sham. It's a facsimile, it's a disgrace. Okay, let's uh, continue. Unfrosted brown sugar cinnamon, I bet I'm gonna love it. Still looks like shit. It's a little bit better than the strawberry one, because again, the cinnamon filling in this has like a weird, kind of crunchy nature to it that actually helps. With that said, get your kids frosted Pop-Tarts. Jesus. This was my favorite as a kid. Hopefully this holds up. Frosted s'mores. I always liked that the crust looked a little bit like more like a graham cracker. And I loved how the inside looked. That tastes exactly like how I remember it. And these are still fucking legit. These have like a nice marshmallow cream flavor with the chocolate. This is what the chocolate fudge one needs. It needs something to accentuate it. Um, these really do taste like, like a good s'more kind of. But again, that marshmallow filling is so good. Damn, I'm I'm happy these are still good. Another favorite from my childhood, Frosted Blueberry. I really feel like the originals are the ones you gotta go for. I always loved how the sprinkles on these looked. This is like how a Pop-Tart should look, I feel. Yeah, these are still good. A little too sweet, but um, all Pop-Tarts are sweet. It's got the nice blueberry, almost grape jammy, kind of nice sort of darker, not darker, but like, you know what I'm talking about. Like less bright and more jammy flavor. Still good, damn. And then, oh God, one of the dessert ones again. Frosted confetti cupcake. Oh boy. I don't like sprinkles that much, so this doesn't excite me. Um, besides like a white filling, okay. It tastes like a bland cupcake. The problem with this and the cookie dough one is that the filling inside is trying to taste like the the substance itself as opposed to a cream filling. So what you get is this kind of just mushiness where you eat it and you're like, 
yeah, I guess it tastes like a cupcake, like a really shittily made cupcake. Um, it has the same flavor profile, but none of the fluffiness of a good cupcake or the, you know, richness of good cookie dough. It just has essence of the flavor. I, I really feel like that's not the way to go. You should make the crust taste like the cupcake and the inside should just taste like frosting or something. Because as this is, yeah, it's just like a mushy cupcake. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Okay, there are eight more and I, I just want to die. Uh... Let's just get this shit over with. Unfrosted blueberry. Oh boy. Looks like dog shit. Tastes like dog shit. Okay, it doesn't say it tastes like dog shit, but it's... It's fine. Very bland. Bland, bland, bland. Get the hell out of my fucking face. Oh my god. Frosted hot fudge sundae. I like how these look. They look very festive. Let's see how it tastes. If you had not told me this was hot frosted, hot frosted, or hot fudge sundae, I wouldn't have known. It just tastes like a uh, chocolate with vanilla cream, which is not bad. I prefer this over chocolate fudge for sure, but it doesn't taste like ice cream or even like hot fudge or anything. It just tastes like a nice chocolate vanilla treat. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Oh God. Frosted strawberry milkshake. Although I kind of like the fruit ones better. So maybe this will be Okay, it looks like something I'd like. Inside's bright pink. I like this one, but only because the strawberry cream reminds me of um, like strawberry pepero or Pocky. It's got that nice strawberry cream flavor. It's very sweet, but for me, it's it brings me back to my youth. So I consider this one a success, actually. It doesn't taste like a milkshake, but it does taste like a nice strawberry Cream. As opposed to strawberry jam, this is like the strawberry cream edition. All right, oh, frosted cinnamon roll. Oh, ew, it looks like an unfrosted one with jizz on it. Okay. Texturally, I'm not fond of this, but flavor-wise, these remind me of a cereal waffle crisp. These taste more like syrup than cinnamon. But I guess cinnamon roll has similarities to uh, waffles. It's like cinnamon toast crunch or waffle crisp contained in a mushy pastry form. This definitely needed more more frosting than just the jizz. Um, Cause I do not like the texture. Okay, four more. Ugh. Final four, let's power through. First off, I never liked these. Frosted Wildberry. I thought these were dumb as shit. Like, they look like, oh, they're for kids! And, uh, or probably taste like they're for kids, too. They're not as bad as I remember. They're just kind of like, um, an indistinguishable sweet berry jam. Yeah, that's about it. Um, really, the, the way it looks is the most interesting, interesting thing about it. These are, like, kind of like blueberry. They're, like, between blueberry and strawberry. Maybe raspberry? Maybe that's what it is? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Kind of tastes like a raspberry. I think I liked these as a kid. Frosted cookies and cream. But I don't know how they're going to hold up now. They look really nice, though. This is like the more chocolatey version of the hot fudge sundae ones. Still better than hot than uh, regular, regular chocolatey fudge. Because it has almost like a darker, toastier t flavor to it with the cookie. But also weird aftertaste. Not crazy about them, but they're okay. I like the hot fudge sundae ones better than these. Last two. These are pretzel ones. I don't know what to think of these. Cinnamon sugar pretzel Pop-Tarts. Okay. Whoa, they have a very different feel to them. They're a lot stiffer. I get what they're trying to do with these. These needed to go more salty. There's a little bit of saltiness. Cowards. Sweet and salty is a lethal combination and you could have done even better with this. Um, I would be curious to see how these are toasted. Texturally, they're just kind of like slightly grainier than regular Pop-Tarts. I don't mind them, but this flavor is really bland. This flavor is not doing this any justice. Very forgettable to me, in fact. Kind of just nothing. Well, they have one more chance to surprise me because it's the pretzel chocolate. Man, it looks great. Like, it looks really good, but I don't know. 
Let's see. These are like, hey, if you don't like how Pop-Tarts taste and wish they tasted more like nothing bread, try the pretzel Pop-Tarts, where everything is subdued and it doesn't really taste like much. Listen, if I'm gonna eat a Pop-Tart, I recognize that they're too sweet, but I want that. Like, nobody wants a Pop-Tart that just tastes like nothing. These taste like what I thought the Simply Ones were gonna taste like. I don't care for this at all. No thank you. Um, I think overall what we learned here is that Pop-Tarts aren't that good. I think my favorites tend to be the ones that are classic flavors. Like, I think they nailed it with strawberry, blueberry, s'mores. Uh, and then any effort they make to make other weird desserty ones are just too much or just failures to me. Um, and I think, if anything, the Simply versions are the best versions. Because they're not crazy sweet, but still sweet enough to be satisfying. And with that said, I don't want to see another Pop-Tart for the rest of my life. And, uh, guess I'll die now. Bye.